upon us to tell you the truth. And what I will first begin to tell you is that there are many lies upon the earth. Religion have been telling lies about God. You go to a church and the main teaching is that you are saving your sin. Let us see what the Bible says. They show you that they may have power to demand God to work a miracle for you while you eat and bad, while you are in your sin breaking the commandment of God. That is a lie. We can see in the scriptures what God requires of man. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 21 hear what God say not everyone that said unto me Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven in Psalm 40 verse 8 the psalmist tell us that he delight to do the will of God because the law of God is in his heart and his heart is in mind. It's only those who have been doing the will of God God hears. And continue Matthew chapter 7 verse 22. Many shall say to me in that day Lord, Lord have we prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? So this is the question. When you realize you're lost, this is the, the question. But look, we were serving Lord, we were saying, Lord, Lord. We were claiming to cast out devils. But what God will say to you, and I pray, that is not to you. He will say. And then will I, Yahweh Jesus, profess unto them, I never know you. Depart from me in that work iniquity. So all the Lord, Lord, you were saying, and all the miracles you are claiming you are working. Because you're not keeping the commandments of God. When the seventh day Sabbath, God said, I never knew you. And this is why we have to come to tell you that you have been lied to. In the scriptures, salvation is away from sin and not in sin. Let us see again a little conversation. That Christ yes, had with his disciples but concerning are you right, the end. Well, yes. I am right. In Matthew oh, chapter 24. Oh, oh. In verse 3. And as he, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us what shall be the thing be and what shall be what the sign of his come thy coming and of the end of the world so you hear he was talking about the sign of his coming and the end of it uh, on the earth and hear what jesus said and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you I don't tell it, it yes, people, you are being deceived. When you go to a church and they tell you that Christ saved you by taking your death penalty in your place, that is a lie. Yes, Christ died. But why he died? His death showed the suffering of God and the gift of life. The suffering of God is a bring upon your mind. It's a no sin cause. It's death. The Holy Spirit brings in your heart. In that 
convenient, convenient opportunity that comes to you when convenient brain come in your heart and conviction. It tells you you are rotten. I create you to serve me, and you are serving the devil. Your sin is horrible. It stinks before my my ear. And he is offering to you the character of Christ to replace your carnal way of thinking. And once you repent and believe, that truth that comes to you in that provenient opportunity becomes your new experience. And the Bible is called to be justified. Amen. To be made righteous. To be made set free. To have a break in all your wrongs and entering into the new experience. Yes, people, you have not heard about those things. You heard about Christ dying in your place, obeying in your place, and now you just believe and trust that he do it, and you are saved in your sin. That is a lie. And you will not be saved. You will say, Lord, Lord, and God will tell you, I never know you, because when you are just when it's seven day Sabbath. So I will repeat again. But we have other speakers. Seven day Sabbath is a portal of light. It shows us the true God. In Ezekiel 2020, it tells us it's a sign that you may know that I am Yahweh that sanctify you. It has only been kept. It can only be kept when you believe the truth. And you are changed and you are justified and Yahweh come in your mind. So if you are seven day Adventist today, go in the church on the Sabbath, that is not keeping the Sabbath. You keep the Sabbath when you are first justified by faith. When God wash you, when God come and dwell in your heart. And today the Adventist church has rejected this way of justification. So that is another lie. You are not keeping the seven day Sabbath, Mr. Adventist. Mr. Seven day Adventist. The church has rejected the gospel of the 1888 message that will bring you in the Sabbath experience and the Sabbath life. So I indeed pray for whatever little light you hear may remain in you that this is the end and an event is about to take place. Sunday exaltation, which is indeed a rival against God's Sabbath. It is satanic. Rival against God's Sabbath will soon be seen upon the earth. Soon called protestants will make miracles, false miracles, spiritualistic miracles devil miracles to convince people in America that Congress will set up a body of advisors to advise Congress a religious department which is against the First Amendment and we will see in America a new form it is called Congregation and they are advised a wicked advice is that they will enforce a Sunday exaltation. It is called the mark of the beast. And in that enforcement, Sabbatarians like myself will be outlawed. We will not be able to buy or sell. People who reject the truth like you may slaughter us. But those who stand for the truth and die for Christ will indeed be resurrected because when you accept Sunday after that is the plague and after the plague is the second coming of Christ so as I end here as the next person will come on remember the seven day Sabbath to keep it holy six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Seven day in the Sabbath of the Lord I go. Amen.